Questions at five today about thousands of American flags that were taken from a park in Canton. Those flags were on display to honor the victims of 9-11. Thanks for being with us today. I'm Stephanie Fisher. And I'm Jaquetta Williams. Now, we broke this story earlier today on CBSAtlanta.com. Now we've learned the flags have been found, and you won't believe where they turned up. CBS Atlanta's Adam Murphy got a tip on this story. He's live now in Canton with this story that is all new at 5. Jaquetta, the obvious tough question here, who in the world would remove thousands of American flags from this park here in downtown Canton? Well, it turns out, a county official is behind it. These flags represented a fallen soul, somebody who gave their life for 9-11. This home video shows 3,000 American flags perfectly displayed in Cannon Park. It was awesome. But this 9-11 tribute in downtown Canton went from respectful to disrespectful when all of the flags were mysteriously removed Thursday. It's very disheartening that someone would uh, disrespect the flag, especially when it was in memorial to uh, a 911 victim. I, I'm speechless. I really am. It's, it's hard for me to understand why they were, you know, taken out of the ground so disrespectfully. Organizers with the group Salute to Our Veterans told CBS Atlanta they were planning to hold a special ceremony tonight to properly retire the flags. Instead, they spent the day searching for them. I was appalled. My, my, and then when I discovered them this morning by just simply walking around here in the city and going into the old courthouse and discovering that they were laying there in piles and in trash cans, I, I almost was in tears. To make matters worse for Pesta, she learned that the person responsible for removing the flags was Cherokee County Solicitor General David Cannon Jr. Why wouldn't you check with either the organizers or the city before you have all of these flags removed in the city of Canton when you're a county official? I was just trying to help out. That park is named after my grandfather. I mean, it's my park. I know. I'm not saying it's my park and it's my property. I'm just trying. That's all I was trying to do. I've tried to help. Cannon Jr. said he had a bunch of juveniles remove the flags as part of community service, unbeknownst to anyone else. It's disgraceful to think that somebody arbitrarily took it upon themselves to retire these colors and throw them into a pile. Now, organizers of the event said they're not sure at this point whether they will press theft charges. They did say, however, they will remember this, even though the Solicitor General has apologized, they will clearly remember this when he's up for re-election. We're live in Canton, Adam Murphy, CBS Atlanta News.